In this video we will talk about UNDET for Revit Dynamic Images Generation, Management and Benefits. Dynamic images will allow you to get clear and smooth view of point cloud data without losing performance. To generate correct dynamic views we will need to follow couple steps and few rules. We will discuss all of them. First step to start successful dynamic images generation is to edit or insert all levels correctly. But before we start with that let's talk about add slice option and pop out window. This window will be the main window for dynamic images generation and management. Here you have option to load undet project. To open undet indexer application which is standalone and will allow you to create undet project and close project option. Also you have scan positions button, here in a pop out window you will be able to manage data files by turning off some scan locations. Sort images will sort generated dynamic images according to their size, larger images are sent to the background, smaller ones are brought to the forefront. Hide selected images will hide selected dynamic image. Show all images will show all created dynamic images. Raster Manager will open Raster Manager dialog. Load 3D selection will convert undet project file into an RCP file and loads 3D point clouds. This option will take some time for first time convert. View Sync option will locate undet browser view by picking a point in the dynamic image, for this option you will have to have project in undet browser. So first of all we will walk through image generation options. Basically there are three main selections which will determine direction of dynamic image information. First selection is floor forward. This selection will create dynamic image of predefined thickness from floor level up until that thickness value. Second selection is center view. This selection will create dynamic image of predefined thickness from cut plane of that predefined size. Cut plane value can be adjusted by editing view range properties. Third selection is ceiling view. This selection will create dynamic image of predefined thickness from cut plane up until that thickness value. Those three selections are action buttons, they will automatically change thickness according to selected option. Just below those selections there are view direction selections, they are same, but they work manually. Also over here we can adjust dynamic image resolution, 1, 5, 10 and 20 are action buttons and they will change resolution immediately. Same as with other options you can adjust them manually. Going down we see coloring options. Here we can choose from black and white, plain, intensity or RGB coloring if applies. Then you can choose color palette and intervals or interval size depending which of them can be adjusted. Also you can select decimate option and adjust decimation value, or you can make that dynamic image transparent. For fast understanding of situation you can select preview option. And to create dynamic image you will have to select the way how you will define area of dynamic image, either by defining it by drawing rectangle or by selecting screen area and generating dynamic image for everything that can be seen in your screen at the time. If you have dynamic image created instead of creating new one you can change parameters and update existing one by selecting this option. Last selection is draw layer. You have two options background or foreground, you can adjust dynamic image position anytime after creation. So now we will open our undet project, and we will do some steps to prepare our project for easier modeling. First we will move our project coordinates using move coordinates function from undet tab, then we will rotate our project using rotate project north function. Now our project is set up for modeling so we will go ahead and start our first necessary step, which is to add levels of our building. To do it, we will create section, and go to that section view. Once again we will choose preview option to have understanding of situation. 
And then we will choose floor forward button to determine direction of dynamic image, also black and white coloring mode with 5mm resolution size. Since we made preview of our dynamic image, we can use defined area option to define area of our interest. As you can see we have image of our section which allows us to add levels very precise. This step is really important, because these levels will be first reference point towards further dynamic images generation and management. Once we have levels, we can create dynamic images for our building levels, we will start from level 1, and we will create floor plan dynamic image. To do it we will open level 1 floor plan and we will click on add slice function. Over here we will create whole level floor plan image colored by intensity with 10 mm resolution, we will choose same option floor forward, because we want to see our floor plan in our dynamic image. Our thickness is 1.2 meters, so we will see all objects that are in our point cloud project which are up until 1.2 meters height from our floor level. Our level 1 floor plan dynamic image was created and we can see room plans and floor objects, and we could start modeling our building walls. But what if this image is not enough for us and we want to see better view of our walls? Well we can create another dynamic image of center view. We will make it transparent so that we can see our previously created image, and this time we will use center view option. As we can see walls outline visibility is much more better than it was with one dynamic image only, now it is really easy to model walls precisely. On the other hand if you think that floor plan image is not needed for walls modeling we can always hide it by using raster manager button and hiding dynamic images that you do not need. We can also change arrangement of dynamic images. When we have more than one image it is useful to arrange them according to information that you want to see at the time. We will create another image for ceiling view, this time we will use third option ceiling view. And this image will contain information of data which is in range of 1.1 meters from our cut plane which by default is 1.2 meters from floor level. As you can see there are no ceilings information in our image. It means that our ceiling level is higher than 2.3 meters, so now we can either adjust cut plane value, or offset our plane location. In this case we will offset our plane by 1 meter. This is not enough so we will add another half meter. Now we can see our ceiling, and once again using raster manager dialog we can rearrange our dynamic images to our desired order. Now we will talk about elevation dynamic image creation. There are two ways to create elevation dynamic images. First would be to create new elevation views. This way might have a little bit more order, because if you use elevation views to inspect model there will only be few elevation views. So now we will go into one of created elevations and we will create dynamic image over here. Workflow would be the same as you would make a section dynamic image, before we started we adjusted thickness of elevation view, after that we create preview of our situation and then using floor forward option we will create dynamic image. Over here we will talk about one option that we did not mention before. It is calculate distance option, and it will reduce noisy view since it will start creating dynamic image from first plane point found. So now we will create dynamic image of window, first we will keep all undet project information, and as you can see view is really unclear. We will try to isolate outside scans, since we are interested in elevations and this will reduce noise of image. And it did, but we can still see some data that should not be there. So now we will turn on calculate distance option and we will reduce all noise from the image, and we will get clear view of window. As you can see it noise was reduced. Second way to create building elevation dynamic image, would be to create section. This might be more suitable for those who are used to work with section views, but since there might be a lot of them, our elevation dynamic images might be harder to find if section views are not organized. Workflow remains the same as we would do with any other section or elevation dynamic image generation. So choose whichever way that suits you better.
If you have any further questions about dynamic images generation and management, or any other Undet for Revit functionality, send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info, subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.